Hello Interior Sports fans, Joe Cook here with your Tuesday Sports. The Alaska Gold Panthers are now in first place in the Alaska Baseball League American League thanks to a nine game winning streak. They're the hottest team in Alaska going nine and one their last 10. They have a 13 and five ABL record, which is a league best and they're the best overall record at 23 and six. The Gold Panthers are the top offensive team in the state leading the league in runs by 64. They had the most hits at 320 and RBIs at 133. They're second in the home runs with 23. Von Bazoian and Cody Noth both have seven homers, which is second best in the league. Jacob Hayes is the RBI leader with 31. Also, Noth and Hayes are third and fourth in batting average, hitting 375 and 370. The pitching staff and defense is just as good. They've allowed the second least amount of earned runs and are second in strikeouts. Joel Belt still leads the ABL and K's with 42. The trio of Belt, Mike Benson, and Jace Puckett are all 4-0 on the mound as well. If you want to check out this stellar team looking to repeat as ABL champs, do it now. This is the last week of home games for the Panthers this summer. Today's doubleheader with the Chinooks has been canceled due to the rain, but Alaska will have their final home games on Wednesday and Thursday, hosting the Matsu Miners. The College Swimming Coaches Association, supported by Nike, named three UAS swimmers for academic excellence. Juniors Daniel Lyons, Gabby Summers, and freshman Catherine Pound were named Scholar All-Americans. They had a, at least a 3.5 GPA while competing in NCAA events in the spring. Lyons with the 3.69 GPA was All-Academic and Conference and was the first team pick on the Capital One All-American Division II at-large team. Summers had a 3.75 GPA and was a two-time NCAA All-American. Pound, she swam NCAA B times in freestyle events with a 3.8 GPA and was an honorable mention as a freshman. Last week, as a team, the Nooks were named the Division II Scholar All-America team. UAS 3.4 GPA after the spring semester was tops in the NCAA West region and top 20 in the country. The NBA Summer League continues in Las Vegas this week. College and pro and pro prospects are trying to earn spots on NBA teams, but a number of local and state high school basketball players will also be in Las Vegas trying to get interest from college coaches. There's even some in-state rivalry involved. Here's more. The Alaska Flight Summer Basketball team will be playing in Las Vegas on Wednesday, but they practice one last time at Lathrop High School Monday morning. 17 players from all around the state make up the Flight 17U and 16U teams. The older team has championship experience. Four players from Services 4A State Championship team include Pendo Drome and Bradley Wacker, and two from Glen Allen's 2A State team, Brent Sampson and Cameron Peters. Lathrop's Gabe Howard and Ford Mason Wilkin, along with Hutchinson's Morgan John, are on the 16U team. We started off with a little rough patch because we didn't we all had to get familiar with each other and then practices started to pick up they started off a little bad but then we got better and better and worked together and then now it feels like everyone's familiar with each other and guess what alaska flight and two other alaska travel teams alaska gold ball with west valley's marquise white and team 907 with daniel hornbuckle of the wolf pack are all in this week's bigfoot hoops las vegas live tourney they could end up playing each other, and the flight are looking forward to it. I was looking at the polls the other day. There is a possibility we could play the goal, but we'll see. That would be interesting seeing what they have and what we have, stacking up against them to see who the better Alaskan team. But aside from a little Alaskan rivalry, the main goal is to make an impression in front of college coaches while facing teams from the lower 48. It's a small window to play well in front of the college coaches there, but if you can leave this experience becoming a better player and maybe getting your name on the map, then you know I think the whole experience is pretty worthwhile. Also, flight assistant coach Chris Pakvernak will not be with the team because he is a match for a bone marrow transplant for his brother Mike, who has leukemia. Travis Church steps in as the assistant this year, and this summer's tournaments are dedicated to Mike and Chris. The Alaska Flight and Team 907 will remain in Sin City for the Las Vegas Classic Tournament, which is July 23rd through the 27th, as a part of the Big Foot Hoops basketball tournament. Now, last Friday, we did a story on a local boxer, Francisco Camacho, who had a main event in the Seattle area over the weekend. Camacho faced Jose Cervantes, who was 5-0 in the White Center Police Athletic League in Burien, Washington. Camacho won the first round and was edged by Cervantes in the second round. But Cervantes, however, he connected on an overhand right and knocked down Camacho. The ref stopped the match early in the count. But Kelly Lawson, Camacho's coach, liked what he saw from his young fighter. He said it was a great lesson. Camacho is now 2-1 in amateur bouts. 
And a couple of final notes here. You can pick up your bib for this weekend's Alieska Golden Mile Run tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Literacy Council of Alaska. And WEO 2014 starts tomorrow at the Carlson Center. Join us here for our live coverage during our 6 p.m. sportscast. That's it for sports tonight. Your full weather forecast is next, and we'll catch you next time.